can the Predator franchise finally get back on track, or should this alien just go back to space where it belongs? I was initially very skeptical with Prey. After I saw the trailers, I didn't know what to expect. Look, Predator doesn't have the best history as far as its sequels go. They verge on either really cheesy yet fun or really dumpster fire garbage. Everyone thought The Predator was going to be amazing four years ago. I remember hearing so many people say, oh, but Shane Black's involved. He was involved with the first movie. What could go wrong? Well, we saw what went wrong. Guys, what the hell are you doing? What is all this shit? Universally, The Predator pretty much jumped the shark as far as this franchise goes. So, yeah. I was skeptical with Prey. Bless them, they did manage to make a title for a Predator sequel that isn't really stupid. I thought this was gonna be called The Predator 2. The further this film gets away from that dog the better. My main thought with this film was it's going back to basics, keeping stuff simple, which is what we need in a Predator film because we don't need a lot. Give us a human character we care about facing off against the Predator and that's it. We don't need to go into the mystery of what the Predator is anymore. We've got enough for that to go off. Another thing that I was a bit worried about going into this was, can it ignore all the tropes that plague a bad Predator sequel? Thankfully, this film restored my faith in the Predator franchise. I can honestly say this probably is one of the best Predator sequels. Predator 2 has a soft spot in my heart, but I'm pretty sure I'm blinded by nostalgia and I'm fully willing to admit that. The main thing I loved is the simplicity of Prey. Predator Crash lands on Earth in the 1700s and trains its hunting skills, working its way up the food chain, first hunting animals and then hunting a tribe of Native Americans. This Predator is similar, but different. It has advanced weaponry, but it's not the same gadgets we're accustomed to seeing. No blast cannons here, but yeah, the trademark invisibility is still there. This Predator is actually played by a living, breathing actor and is not a CGI dumpster fire like in the last film. Perfect. This film actually respects the Predator and treats it like a threat with plenty of gory kills. I noticed the blood was CGI and that kind of sucks. Despite that, most of the kills are pretty good to look at. Being that this is a different Predator, I was always intrigued of what's going to happen next. What's going to be the new gadgets? How is this Predator different to the Predators we've seen in other movies? And I think that's really intriguing and something that will instantly differentiate this film from other sequels. I really like the build-up of tension. Prey had a really hard, difficult task in that it pretty much had to resurrect a creature and a franchise that has not had one sequel that was any good besides Predator 2 and maybe Predators. I think I revel in the simplicity of the plot of Prey. It's not trying to do 10 million things at once like the Predator did, and it's not trying to explain more behind the scenes of the Predator. I don't think Prey ruins the mystery of the Predator. It sets up everything we know without introducing anything too new or different. The new stuff comes from the fact that we're in a new time period, there's new characters, they have different weaponry, there's the colonists in the background, all that stuff's really good. You see this predator interact a lot with animals, you see it fight a bear and it's actually struggling, like it will have moments where it's not winning in the fight. And what it does, it evens the playing field a bit. Considering that the Native Americans are very under-equipped to deal with a predator. I like the main protagonist, Naru, and I like that she has a simple character arc. She's just a hunter that keeps being underestimated by the rest of her tribe and her brother. She's not taken seriously, and in trying to prove herself, she's pretty much trying to kill the predator. But also to prove herself as a hunter. It's simple, but it's good. I like the slow build up. The second act of this movie did drag on a bit, but it sets up a whole bunch of things to be paid off in the third act. One thing that it is doing is it's paying respect to the creature. 
and when the creature is appearing or making a kill, it's a big deal. One thing I, I didn't like in Prey was the CGI of the animals. It's kind of hit and miss, which sucks. There's one pivotal moment where a bear attacks the main character and I kept thinking to myself, man, if this was a real bear, this would look so much better because I'm used to films like The Edge with Anthony Hopkins where a real bear was used. There's so much more tension in that and immersion. You really can feel the threat of the bear. It just adds a tension and suspense that just can't be done with CGI because you know it's a living bear. So it sucks, but it doesn't kill the movie for me. It's just like a one small thing that kind of bugs me. If they had just used real animals in some more shots, it, it really would have made a huge difference to my level of immersion. Every time I saw a big CGI animal, I was instantly pulled out and just thought to myself, ah, oh, that's fake. Now getting away from complaining about the CGI, I did notice a lot of on set, like real life locations being used which is a breath of fresh air after all the past movies I've been watching lately, especially Marvel films where it is super clear as day that they're not shot on location. The environment becomes a character. Just like in the first Predator movie, the jungle does provide a lot of atmosphere and there's some really cool scenes. So the cinematography in this movie is really good. I really like the environment and some of the wide shots that they use are awesome. It's beautiful. There's vast mountains to look at. It just brings it to simplicity of this movie. Simple, beautiful. It's nice to look at. Gives off vibes of films like The Revenant or The Grey. Those type of movies that are like very heavily involved in jungles. In the last 30 minutes, the final act of this film, you get everything you would want from a Predator movie. Like you get that intense face off, that cat and mouse game that you want. You get lots of kills, lots of gore. It's awesome. It's a great fun final act of the movie. Everything's paid off. It was satisfying to watch. I really enjoyed this movie. Prey is easily one of the best Predator sequels. I guess technically prequel, and I'm giving it four out of five stars, or four out of five spine rips, with real on-location shooting, great cinematography, and a simple to follow story. This film could be interpreted as a coming of age story with a Predator. That's cool with me. Huh? The Predator is back as a simple unstoppable force, and this film gave me some fun action, simple tale about survival, improving your worth, and some blood and guts. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more reviews like this. And let me know in the comments below, where would you like to see The Predator next? I personally would love to see The Predator in a future that knows of its existence, so then the future is like very technologically advanced and the Predator has to adapt to people knowing that it exists. All right, guys, I'm out.